Hey everyone, welcome to video three in the note taking app. In this version, we are going to learn how to store data persistently. So persistent data is stored in a database or the file system of the device and not just in the application short term memory, which is what we did in the first two videos with our global notes. So we had created an empty list, we had stored some notes in the list, and then when we quit the app, that data was in short-term memory, and so that data was lost when we closed the app. So App Inventor provides a component called a TinyDB, where you can store data directly in the phone or the tablet, uh, persistently, so forever, in that device's memory. So in order to do that, we need to go to our interface and add a storage component. So you can either store things in a web database, which is a little more complex, or what's simpler for us today is to use a tiny database. Now this is an invisible component, so it comes down here into the component tray, enables us to store data in whatever variables we want in a, in a persistent fashion in the device's memory. So if we switch over to our blocks, we don't have to do a whole lot of work here in order to store data. What you do is you come over to your components list over here and you say, hey, I want to store some data in my tiny database, my first and only tiny database one. What am I storing and what tag am I storing it under? Will you give your tag a name? So, uh, and you just list that name as a string. So you pull in a string and we'll call the tag notes. And what are we going to store? We're going to store everything in our list. So I'll just grab a get global notes. Okay. So in the computer's app memory for this particular application, it will tag an item called notes and it will store the entire list of notes. The only other change that we need to make is when we initialize our app. So if you initialize the app, when the app opens, if the list exists, then we want to show everything that was stored in that list. And so what we'll do when we load this app into the computer's memory is we'll go out to the tiny database and we will go ahead and call this get value procedure. And we want to go out and we want to get the tag notes. So I'll just duplicate this and pull it over here. Okay. If there aren't any notes stored in the database for some reason. Okay, maybe it's empty. We'll just go ahead and create an empty list. Okay, now this block has to hook into something. So when we initialize, we'll just say, hey, let's go set the global notes equal to the value of the notes in the database or else we will just create an empty list. So I'll go ahead and pop that right into the procedure. Now there's a possibility that the list could be empty. And if it is, we want to disable the remove button. And if it's not, we want to output the list. So let's go ahead and throw in an if block. And I just messed up, so I'll go ahead and just add my else manually. So I said, if the list happens to be empty, so we'll go to our list, 
we'll check for if the list is empty, the global notes list. Let me click away from here. I don't know why you're doing that. There we go. If that list is empty, then we need to disable the remove button. So uh, we have that code right here. I'm going to duplicate that and we want to disable it. False. Great. Otherwise, we want to output the list. So I'll just go to procedures and I'll call output list. All right. Great. So it's time to test this out. Let me pull over my emulator. Okay, and I'll add a few notes here. Hi, everyone. How are you? Happy Easter. All right, so now I can remove a note uh, and I'll remove another note and then I will close the app. So once I close this app and you're going to have to try this yourself, it takes quite a while to get this emulator to pop up back up. I want you to close it yourself, reopen it and see if your note is still there. It should be stored persistently. All right, and uh, after you test that, come back for the next video.